Uh, we're upstairs in the Bespoke Tailoring Lounge uh, with Bespoke Cutter, uh, Oliver Cross. Oliver, hey, it's so great to see you. It's got to be nice to finally finally be back uh, kind of in your element. Oh, Kirby, it's a really nice feeling to be back. It's nice to be open again. It's nice to see a bit of a... Uh you know, just a little bit more bustle, hustle and bustle in London. Um, the streets are a little bit busier today, which is great. And uh, yeah, everybody's moods have, have just sort of heightened, you know, with the with sort of the, the, the plan ahead of June 21st, all restrictions going. It's uh, sort of light at the end of the tunnel now. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, as I was kind of explaining at the beginning of this segment is, uh, you know, although London uh, reopening you know, uh, at least the stores reopening doesn't allow us to travel there, but it's actually a very significant first step uh, in what will ultimately be the kind of cascade of events that will ultimately result uh, in London and England uh, and really hopefully the rest of the world really reopening for good and us putting this behind us. So I can't tell you uh, how encouraged I am uh, and really just, um, you know, reassured to see, you know, things beginning to return to normal in London. Thank you. Yeah, here, here. I, uh, I, I agree, and it's, uh, it's a great feeling to, uh, to open our doors again and welcome our customers back. So yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And and although I mean, you know, you guys have been closed at least the shop for a while. You haven't uh, been not working. And I know uh, just from following kind of the uh, you know, Benson and Clegg on on Instagram uh, that you guys have really been fast at work putting together uh, new collections and things uh, really to prepare us all for spring and summer. Well, it was it was an opportunity. You know, we, we obviously had the time, the, the lack of bespoke fittings and the lack of, uh, you know, face to face with with customers. So we, we, we used the time to, um, you know, not diversify, but just to just to forward think a bit how strategically how we can move forward with not seeing customers and and you know coming up with new offerings and and also you know the the whole the whole sket landscape of tailoring has has changed during lockdown with the whole you know the movement of of sort of more casual sartorial wear um so we we've just you know ticked the box there and and explored other avenues in order to move forward as a tailor's yeah, well, I think it's been interesting to see how uh, every firm has kind of responded a bit differently uh, to evolving uh, and really, you know, evolving probably uh, for the best. And uh, Benson and Clegg certainly has uh, been a great example of that. Uh, you guys have launched a new online made to order process that allows, you know, people, you know, from anywhere and uh, people, you know, at a certainly lower price point to access, you know, the history and bespoke archive of Benson and Clegg uh, without having to make it to London and go through the full bespoke service. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's, um, it's, it's a good starting point for anybody that wants to delve into the world of custom tailoring. Um, you know, we felt that we wanted to offer something that was almost like a, you know, a similar price to ready to wear, but to allow them to customize the suit um, in, in certain, certain ways. We, we didn't give them full, we haven't given full, clar full um, you know, uh, measurements. They don't have to do that. But all we've done is we've, we've created our blocks. So we, we're going from a 36 to a, a 48 block. Um, and we, we came up with a collection of, of really nice sort of muted colors um, and, and formal slash casual tailoring. And the concept being they, you know, with a, with a jacket, they can choose their sleeve length and their jacket length. And we've got full instructions, measuring guides on our website, showing you, explaining step by step how to do that and how to achieve the, a, a decent jacket length for yourself. Um, because you, you know as well as I, uh, you know, a jacket that is short on somebody or too long, it just looks... It looks out of place, and you know there's there's a sort of feng shui to create with with the with the body, and everything has to harmonise. So getting that jacket length and the the height of the trousers and the trouser length um, correct just aesthetically looks so much better. You know, it looks it looks pleasing to the eye. Um, so we've done that, and we've selected some fantastic British cloths. Um, We've got two. Well, we've got three, uh, three two-piece suits um, where you can buy separately um, the jacket and the trousers. Um, Crisp Air Holland and Sherry uh, travel cloth, which is a fantastic cloth to work with. Very durable. Um, it's ten ounce, so it's a, it's a decent weight, um, and it stays clean looking. You know, keeps its sharp creases. We've done it in a in a dark brown and a forest green. And my theory behind that was, you know. 
a navy and charcoal suit are smart, but I feel with these dark browns and you know these the darker tones, you can still look just as formal in a dark brown suit or a or a forest green suit as you would in a navy suit. And the beauty of them is is you can break them up and wear them as separates. You know that the forest green trousers with a navy DB blazer on point looks fantastic. You know, and you can wear knitwear underneath, you can wear shirt and rep tie if you wanted. Uh, you know, the, the possibilities are endless. So we just wanted to create a, a, a wardrobe that, you know, a, a customer can buy a few pieces out of and he's got, you know, three or four outfits out of, out of it all. So, you know, equally the forest green jacket can be worn as a single breasted um, jacket with, uh, a, 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 we've got a Doug Dale's um, twist gray, travel twist flannel. Um, and we've done trousers in that. Um, lovely waistband, nice sort of deep waistband with a long extension and a nice little belt loop with strap and buckle side adjusters. Um, turn ups, if, if you want, you can, you can select turn ups or plain bottoms. And it's all very simple in, uh, you know, you do it online, you place your order, and then within four weeks, we, we get the garment, we go over it, do a quality check, check the measurements, and then we'll send it on to the customers. Um, ourselves so we've created we've got here we've got a what I like to call a rucksack jacket uh, sounds a bit sounds a bit daft but the, the concept behind it is it's a unstructured cotton jacket um, it's got shirt sleeve technology so it, it's got the, the the sort of inset seam on the sleeve head there um, it's totally unlined and it's a jacket that you can afford to beat up a bit you know you can roll it up you can put it in your, your gym bag and go to the gym and, you know, you can, it looks awesome with uh, a pair of grey flannels and, you know, that sort of Ivy League style if you wanted to wear an Oxford button down with it with a nice rep tie. Equally, you know, as de demonstrated here, uh, you can't see the trousers. It's a light grey pair of flannel trousers, um, a white turtleneck. Um, it looks fantastic and you can wear it how you wish and the, that's the whole concept behind it is dress it up, dress it down. Um, but we've kept to our staples as well. You know, what we're known for, we've used our Benson and Clegg blazer buttons on them. We've created the, what we like to, you know, the classic blazer, classic double-breasted blazer with Benson and Clegg City of London blazer buttons on in a, in a nice, um, it's got a nice decent wide lapel on it. Um, and it's uh, a Smith Woolens cloth, I believe, and in a hop sack weave in a dark navy. So, you know, super traditional blazer, but as demonstrated here, wearing it with knit wear and a little neckerchief, wear it with a rep tie, dress it up, wear it with a pair of stonewashed jeans if you want open, it, you know, anybody can wear a blazer. Do you find yourself, uh, you know, kind of being drawn towards double-breasted uh, jackets? I mean, I'm wearing one, you're wearing one, both those models are double-breasted jackets. Is, is that something you're integrating more into your collections now? I think more, more so with, less so with suits. I mean, you know, don't get me wrong, this is, this is a, a double-breasted suit here. And I, I love, I'm partial to a double-breasted. Um, with the bla on the blazer side of things, especially with this one, we wanted to we wanted it to look classic yet appeal to a modern audience equally. Um, hence, we, we kept the double breasted with a nice, decent sized lapel with the belly swooping in, patch pockets. You know, so it's that real good crossbreed between the the, the formal style and a casual style blazer. Okay, and then you know what else? I mean, you know, as you kind of have you know been focusing on you know, kind of developing new things, you know, while you've been kind of away from the cutting theater. You know, what else has kind of struck your interest? I mean, any other kind of interesting projects or little side things that you're working on that you might be able to share? Absolutely. We, we, there's, um, we are actually working with a, um, a stylist called Joe Ottaway. Um, Joe Ottaway, he is well known for, he was David, he's David Gandhi's stylist and he styles other, other celebrities and models. Um, Joe Ottaway's, uh, he has worked with us on a collaboration that we're doing, um, which allows us to, um, you know, with, with, with Joe's ethos and his uh, style, it allows us to be a bit more creative outside the realms of Benson and Clegg. And we've actually created some, um, some nice sort of shacket suits. So, you know, the sort of loose uh, over, over shirt jackets, um, so we've done it in, you know, we've, we've got a linen, I can announce we've got a, a, a nice beige linen two piece coming out. We've got a white seersucker, real summer wear, um, a few knitwear pieces we've been working on. So we, that's a project that we're going to launch very soon, which we're very excited about. Um, and equally, we've, we started offering knitwear ourselves. Um, 
you know, we, we it's in a nice uh, Italian workshop we've we've sourced, and they make the most beautiful knitwear. Um, and we've got so many different options available. So we've sort of branched out in that aspect as well. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, it was just, we were just over at Bud Shirt Makers and uh, Bud Shirt Maker, and they were talking about, you know, the new Riviera uh, shirt that they've just launched. And so, you know, you've spoken about some great pieces that, you know, really seem perfect for, uh, you know, kind of spring, summer as we uh, are able to resume traveling. Uh, there's no reason not to do it looking smart, looking tailored uh, and dressing up, uh, even if you are, you know, in the Riviera or, you know, in the Caribbean uh, or in, you know, Cabo San Lucas, like I was a few weeks ago, uh, you know, there's always an opportunity to look smart and to dress up, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And I, you know, I really, everybody has their own individual style. And, you know, the sartorial world is is all about you portraying your, you know, dressing your personality and, and dressing what makes you comfortable. Um, and this is what we try and endorse. You know, we, we don't pigeonhole one type of customer. You know, we want to sort of um, educate the the sort of uh, you know menswear uh, enthusiasts in into sort of different ways you can dress to be yourself. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I was just. Uh, I mean, I think we all go through different phases of kind of developing our wardrobe and. For many of us, the first place we start is with the formal wear. I mean, it's probably what we might have the most opportunity to wear. Uh, it's uh, certainly in some ways can be the most important. Uh, but, you know, once we do kind of our four season formal wear, it's going on to the seasonal kind of collections, you know, spring, summer, fall, winter, and then pass that into the true kind of tailored casual wear. You know, the beautiful slack jacket that you were talking about, uh, you know, ruck set jackets. I mean, things that you know, that really allow us to, you know, be smarter than just wearing a pair of shorts that we bought at the Old Navy or something. Yeah, 100%. And this is what we, you know, we we, we, uh, we endorse, we we believe in, you know, if you're into menswear and you want to dress well, um, buying pieces that you believe in and pieces that you will wear and, you know, uh, they, that become old friends. And, and this is exactly what, what a man's wardrobe should be. Well, I couldn't be any more thrilled to see you guys back. Uh, it's got to feel good to be back kind of upstairs uh, in the little cutting uh, bespoke tailoring lounge. And, uh, you know, send my best to the team. Of course, anyone that's watching this that's in London, of course, drop in, say hello. I'm sure, um, you know, Oliver and the entire team would uh, certainly be thrilled to see you and welcome uh, you back kind of into their store. Uh, but if you aren't able to make it to London, of course, <clears throat> you know, check out Vincent and Clegg online uh, where you can still access this firm's beautiful uh, kind of archive of, 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 of work, you know, through their made to order program. Uh, and then their accessories like the buttons and the ties and everything else that you guys offer online. So, uh, Oliver, uh, great to see you. Uh, congratulations at being back. And I uh, can't tell you uh, just uh, how it's a breath of uh, fresh air and energy to see kind of London coming back to life. Uh, and I couldn't be any more happy about that. Kirby, thank you. Keep doing what you're doing. You, you, what, you do wonders for, uh, for menswear and the, you know, our industry. And uh, we, we really appreciate it. Thank you.